Oh man, I can already tell this is going to be tough. This is going to cause war, I think, some of these selections. What's the crack, lads? Welcome to the top 25 defenders in eFootball 2024 ranked let's go so lads we're gonna go straight in we have got 25 or so of the best defenders in the game now this selection here that you're seeing all these players okay these are from the top 50 in the world squads so you will see that the top 50 in the world currently at the time of recording are using pretty much a combination of these 25 or 26 players okay if there is a player missing it might just be you know a, a little kind of like slip on my behalf i might have left out somebody that's an absolute beast for you or there's a bit of personal preference in here as well so if i did miss anybody notable please do get in touch in the comments below and scold me give me a spanking but anyway right we're going to be in here with uh starting off with cancello i think he's going to be going straight into c i'm also going to put kula bali in here into c um, and we're going to pop Varane in here as well. Even though Varane is kind of at the meta in terms of the stats, I don't think that he's as good as some of the other players on this. Obviously, him and Van Dijk are going to be kind of like similar type players, okay? Now, I would potentially put Van Dijk up here. Van Dijk plays way above his stats. I'm not going to mess around too much with these players that I know are going to be up there, okay? Obviously, the mind the ratings, that's just the cards that I've picked here. Some of the cards are maxed out. Some of the cards, just it's just a visual thing in case you're wondering. Now, there is going to be a couple of different choices as well based on your play style. Just a quick intermission. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. We're going to continue to post daily content. Let's get back to the video. And based on how you actually play, you know, how your tactics are set up. But for all intents and purposes, I want this to be a debate. So please get in touch and let me know how wrong I am, how right I am. If you agree with some of them, if you agree with all of them, if you agree with none of them. And then we can do a little few more uh, videos like this if you guys like them. So I'm also going to probably pop in Kunde in here as well. Again, Kunde can be nearly end game. As I said, every player you see here is being used by a player that is currently a top 50 rank in the game. From top 50 to the top one player in the game on PS5 and PS4. So all of these players are in the squads, are in 50 squads um, or so. Koundé is on about five or six of them. Varane is on about three or four. And then you've got the likes of, you know, Marquinhos, Gavardiel, Maldini. They're used in like 10, 15 plus. So it's the top 50 squads. You'll see the same type of players come to the fore. Now, I'm also going to controversially, lads, put in Cannavaro beside Van Dyke. I don't think he goes higher than that. Um, it's kind of a conversation, obviously, to be had, and that's why I want you guys to get involved. But I would probably put him in there because of his lack of height, and that does come into it a little bit. The game is kind of not really punishing uh, like height at the moment, but still, it is kind of a thing where you know you can get along with everybody else and you can get along with players like such as Bergomi or Aldair who I think are a little step above Cannavara because they still have every other stat and player skill um even if you need to give them an additional skill or not right now one thing that I'm going to do straight off the rip lads is no complaints and no debate with me on Tommy Yashu going into the S tier final boss last level of the game he is unbelievable he's probably my favorite defender that I have used I say hold up wait a minute the big time card is probably my favorite defender hands down now i haven't played much with araujo but araujo is going to slot in there as well just to keep it fair because he is unbelievable i have played pretty much hundreds and hundreds and thousands of games um of eFootball, and since araujo has come he is basically one of the hardest players that i find to get past you know some players can give you trouble sometimes Araujo is one of the most difficult players to get past to do one two touches around do little triangles he's good in the air he's he's fast he's the meta he's everything um now I'm also going to show you these uh, two players here Rudiger and Delict okay so the both of them are free players and it's, it's kind of interesting that a lot of people are still using them obviously a couple of omissions here Pavard um is not here you've also you were also missing uh who else did we did i was i thinking so we have pavard that's missing um we have as i can't think of his name cardoba is not here uh we have a couple of other players in there up in meccano the big time the legend up in meccano and bastoni the free bastoni so they're kind of interchangeable i think but this delict i've seen him in a couple of squads it's not really about the the, the version of delict but this was obviously the free one so for a free card i'm actually going to pop the Lict in there he's been beasting for me and i'm also going to pop rudiger in there i think i actually do you know what i'll probably put rudiger up there rudiger is one of these Pe like classic eFootball Pez players, right, from olden days, that plays way above his stats, seems to have a hidden boost, and this could obviously be egg on my face, because Rudiger might get nerfed by the time this video goes out, 
But so far, I think Rudiger's also in that category of Araujo, where he's he's pretty much one of the hardest players to get past. Stamina-wise, speed, strength, everything seems to be boosted to the max. So um, that is kind of where my goal with that. Now, also on top of that, just to kind of quicken this up a little bit and to round it off, I think it kind of goes without saying that Costa Corta, there isn't really that many complaints here. Costa Corta, we're going to pop Edmilson into the B. I know some people love Edmilson, but I can't put him above um, Rudiger and Costa Corta. We're also going to pop in Davies in here, simply because Davies is, in my opinion, a lesser version than Roberto Carlos. I think Carlos is the best left back in the game. He's unbelievable. And Davies is just a little bit of a lesser version than him. The same with these two boys. I'm going to pop Bergomi up here. Here, we'll, t we'll see if we go into the S. We'll see who we've left. And I'm also going to pop Cafu in here. This Cafu card is a little bit disappointing when you're talking about the top 25 um, in the game. Now, if I was to put him in a tier here, I'd probably put him at the top of the tier C. Um, you know, with Cancelo at the back and then Koulibaly and then Kunde here. But I'm not really taking this into consideration too much. You know, there isn't really a limit on these uh, here because obviously Bergomi would probably be up here you know, it would be kind of then a thing of like Rudiger needs to be pushed down a bit, okay? Um, Gavardiel, Batman, I, I think this is another player that I think people either love um, or have stopped kind of using because obviously it's an older type card and a very rare card that a lot of people didn't actually get. Um, so I think that we'll probably put him in B. Again, we'll revisit this at the end when we do it. Now, I think it goes without saying as well as that Maldini, for all intents and purposes, I think from what I've played with him, he never puts a foot wrong. I think I'm going to put him into the S at the moment. No, it's a, it's, it's a hard one because Aldair is probably a better version of Maldini if I was doing it like that. There isn't much between Maldini and Aldair. I think I could be even tempted to put the two of these boys here, but we do want to have five players up in the S. So we'll see, we'll see. Maldini, for me, if it was a personal choice, I would have him here. I think he's an absolute beast. This is probably one of the most debatable topics that we're going to have, or the debatable players. Um, I'll also put Marquinhos up here into the A. He's probably, his big time card is probably not in this level yet, even though he's one of the best players. Every card is one of the best ever. We're also going to pop Beckenbauer up here, but on the lower side of it as well. And then we're also going to finish with Tamori. So Tamori is kind of a card that I think he'll just get nerfed into the ground. He has everything possible, but I don't think that he's all in the upper tier here of the A. All of these guys in the A, I would prefer over Tomori, apart from maybe Beckenbauer. I haven't played a massive amount of Beckenbauer, but the rest of the players, I think, definitely deserve their spot there. Now, this is kind of where it, it's getting a little bit a little bit tense, right? I think Nesta has to go in there as well. I think Nesta is potentially going to slot down into here, man. I think that if I'm going to have Tomori here and Van Dijk, who I have literally... Listen... No Liverpool bias, I'm a United fan. Um, Van Dijk, for me, would probably be up here because he's been a beast for me. But I'm trying to keep this fair um, for the average player that's going to be looking and for you know for you guys to actually get involved as well. I think the one player that I've massively... The two players that I've massively regretted uh, missing out on are two of the three that are left here. One of them is Puyol, who I'm going to pop in here. I think he's absolutely extraordinary. Again... I would probably put him only second to Araujo for players that I struggle against. Whenever I come up against Puyol, this booster version of him, or Araujo, they're the two that I struggle against the most. Tomori, I mean, I, I've struggled against him a little bit. Rudiger is a beast as well. Aldair is a beast. Marquinhos is always a beast. But them three players are the players that I have struggled with against the most by an absolute mile. Now, I'm also going to probably pop in Rijkaard here as well. I know that a lot of people will like the fact that Rijkaard is in the S tier. I haven't played a massive amount with him on my main profile. I have on other people's profiles and my co-op and whatever. And that's going to round us off with wan in around here as well. Now, listen, this is just a final review on this, right? I don't want to make this video too long. <sighs> I mean, I'm kind of happy enough with that. I mean, I've got every player that I could possibly want there in the S tier. I mean, bona fide S tier, GOAT level, end game, whatever way you want to call it. Literally the best defenders in the game. In my personal opinion, Araujo, Tommy Yashu, and Puyol need to be there. Now, that's just from what I've played, what I've played with, what I've defended against, and what I've ran against as, you know, trying to break down really, really top class players. When I've beaten top 10 in the world players, top 50 in the world players, 
they are the real battles that you have to win. You have to be able to get past Araujo. You have to be able to bring them out to the deep waters on the wings. And when it goes central, you have to take your chances. So them three, I think, are a mainstay. They're 100%. Now, where I'm slightly torn, and I think we're going to leave it at here, but I'm slightly torn as to whether or not I'll bring, I'd bring Bergomi up here and put Maldini down there. I don't know. Because I'm using a defensive right back, I'm kind of a bit biased in how important I want Bergomi or wan to be for me. So I'm going to leave it at that. Obviously, get in touch with me in the comments below. Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? I hope you guys enjoyed this video because we are going to be bringing a few more videos. Next up is going to be midfielders or else strikers. I haven't decided yet, but both will come. We're also going to be doing a couple of other ones that you guys have been asking for. So stay in tune for that. Stay in tune? Tune in for that. All right, lads, that is it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're liking this content. I'll talk to you later.